Okay, welcome to the final part. So let's look at the sketchbook, shall we? Ooh, wait a minute. I know, I looked at some of it before, so that'd be why. These are some of the context sketches for Ratchet. We decided that early on he wouldn't... That he would be a uh, bipedal alien creature with fur. And if anyone asks you, Ratchet, Ratchet is a Lombax. Okay. Clank 2 went through many forms. He was originally even younger looking with a bigger head and a smaller body. In fact, at first Clank was three much smaller robots, but in the end we decided to use just one so that we could develop his personality more easily. Cool. And here we have the final sketch for our two main characters. Ratchet came into existence on paper for the first time within two weeks of the initial idea for the game. This final sketch was done about three months later. <laughs> Fort Krontos uh, on Battalia came from this top sketch. We, want, we wanted the, to create forested in islands under aerial attack. Then we turned it into more of a tropical fort. Kind of the way, de kind of the way development goes sometimes. The bottom sketch was one of the many from which we stole pieces for various levels. Okay. These cliff-hugging structures evolved into the cliffside machinery you can see in parts of the logging sites on planet Eudora. They were originally part of the populated city, but we decided to make this a robot-only area. This is an element from the robot factory exterior on planet Quartu. The factory on this planet is where Clank is made at the beginning of the game. Oh yeah. The top sketch is an early drawing of, Bla of Blark Depot on planet Gasper. The bottom is the production design for Blackwater City and planet on planet Rilgar. The bomb factory on planet Hoven was derived from these sketches. Our original idea was that the inhabitants were mining ice and shipping it off world. But then we decided that the Blark should invade and convert all of the processing plants to mutants. Munition factories. Blog equals bad news. Don't be stupid. Don't be Capcom. Capcom equals stupid. Ah, oh, just loops. Okay. A hanging power source for one of our factories. Can you guess which one? Um. It looks like the ones on Quartu, but I don't think it is. Factories. Factories. What were their factories on? I don't know actually. <clears throat> the top drawing shows off early concepts for the logging site on planet Eudora. This is one of our first worlds, and our initial goal was to create a forest slash a forest city. It changed drastically during production. The bottom sketch shows off peaceful structures from the bomb factory on planet Hoven. Fair enough, that's pretty cool. Generator concepts for Gorda City on planet Altanus because the because the city is plagued by lightning storms. The inhabitants use the generators to attract the lightning and convert it into useful energy. Unfortunately, Drek wants the generators for his new planet, and the citizens don't stand a chance. Yeah, that might be where the um generator thing from before was. Yeah, it might be that. Uh, maybe not actually. One of the very first levels we prototyped was Metropolis on planet Kerwin. We just we wanted lots of gre greenery built into the retro sci-fi buildings to create a unique contrast. We ended up removing most of the bronze caps though because they began to clash with the rest of the city. Any more? This world was one of the first big ones we built and almost started a war between the designers and the artists. Ah, uh, fair enough. That's certainly interesting. This is the first concept for Quark's HQ on planet Umbris. We removed the lightning rods after we realized that it made the central structure look too small. Hmm. The general idea for Quark's HQ was that it should be very reminiscent of a World War II battlefield Replete with bunkers, machine guns, and bomb and barbed wire. Yeah, I can see where they were going with that. Here's a building study for one of the structures near Quark's trailer in Blackwater City. We ended up modifying it significantly, though, and the final result is a bit different. This is a good example of the palette studies we create for every world. This is this one was for Fort Quantus on Planet Battalia. We ended up changing the weather from a sunny day to a rainstorm but the color palette didn't vary much from 
this painting. Yeah, I can. S yeah, that is that is quite good. I think it was a bit more destroyed on the city, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Two examples of the character sheets we use to model the enemies in the game. The top is a Blarg trooper, while the Blarg commander is on the bottom. We love our robots. These are some of the many head designs we created for the robot troops who fight Ratchet. And if you look closely, you can pick out our animation director and our lead character designer. Okay. Hmm. Here's Ratchet's first ship. Too bad he wrecks it so early in the game. We wanted it to be a real homemade job, held together by chewing gum and wire. We still can't agree on exactly why he crashed it on planet Novelis. Yeah, that that does that's actually a very good point because it doesn't really make any sense as to why he would crash it there and never any of a point. Finished sketches for Quark ship and the courier ship that matching and Clank acquire. The idea was that the courier ship would be a slow, clunky, durable vehicle, kind of like a mail truck. Oh yeah. Quark ship, on the other hand, was designed as a luxury craft, not too fast either, but stylish and comfortable. What about the other one? Yeah! This is the original s sketch for the Blarg fighter by Ratchet and Clank pick up on the um, Gemlek base. We were going for a sleek but deadly, yes. Many of the enemies in the game's pilot vehicles. Um, uh, this one turned into a helicopter piloted by a Blarg commander in Metropolis. He's a nasty one. The Grime Boots Mine Glove and what ori originally was the Defense Drone Glove, we changed the way Defense Drones work midway through the project, so we no longer needed the glove. that glove. Oh, fair enough. Here's one of our concepts of Giant Clank. Unfortunately, the huge shoulder-mounted guns didn't make it in because they weren't practical, but we did manage to keep Ratchet and Clank's back. Yeah. Some fun enemy designs. One made it into the game, four didn't. Can you pick the winner? Um, I think it's the top left or bottom left. It's definitely not the middle. I don't recall seeing bottom right. I don't recall seeing top right. The many faces of Big Al. This was the first NPC non-player character we put into the game. He's probably what most people think game developers look like. <laughs> Oh my god, that looks like Sully at the at far left. One of the weapons that went through many uh, iterations on paper was Ratchet's Wrench. We didn't want something too generic, plus it had to, to function as a tool and a weapon at the same time. It's mistakenly called an axe but many, by many, but the label is appropriate in some respects, since you probably wouldn't want to get whacked with it. Designs for the Visibomb Glove top and the Suck Cannon bottom. The Suck Cannon was one of the first weapons we designed and one of the few where the names stayed the same throughout the development process. It just had such a nice ring to it. Fair enough. Anything else about the Visibomb? I don't think so. No. The top two designs are the final versions of the Hydro Pack. The bottom sketches are the designs for the Glove of Doom and Bomb Glove. Ah, uh, yeah. The Glove of Doom is an office favourite. Yes, I can see why. It's pretty cool. Another early version of Ratchet. Notice dif the different proportions, lack of eyebrows and stripes. This was also the early box con cover concept. Ah, uh, yeah. That's quite cool. This one should look familiar. It's the cover for the US game box was derived from it. But more importantly, it was the first image of Ratchet unveiled to the world in March 2002. Oh, that's cool. And that's that. Now we got epilogue. Get out of the way, Warcry. Fuck, I'm trying to read the epilogue. <laughs> Details. Ah, uh, Ratchet, the furry mechanic who created a panic. Deadly gadgets, the top 10 gift ideas for the holiday season. I was in reverse. Racetrack tragedy claims five robots. <laughs> the interstellar noisy news. The truth is skid hooked on that. Is skid hooked on nano. I'll do anything for a few bolts by Cork. Candy votes as a robot caught in the act. Ratchet's love interest. Shocking news about Drek. The the race was fixed. Fitness tips from Cork's trainer. Bounty hunters at each other's throats. Oh my Jesus Lord. Oh my God. Visibomb review. Top 10 Gadgetron Con. It's Gadgetron Con. 
<laughs> Think you could handle the rhino? Oh man, no, I could not. That's insane. Popular plumbers, 101 <laughs> ways to clean your pipes. Will plumbing ever be the same? The water worker asks the same question every day. True story, I saved the galaxy from an evil mutated strain of dry rot. I kid you not. The ti tips to fixing derelict turrets. Uh, Prime, Robot of the Year. An exclusive look on how Clank saved us all. Read. Oh, Jesus, Lord, no. How long is your wrench? <laughs> Which nanotech do you really need? I mean, boy, that ate her and now she's in love. What the actual hell? <laughs> Who got times? Rhino salesman pleads not guilty. Novelist native claims his brother turned into a chicken. <laughs> and he's boy the time. Battalia Chronicles. Lone Commando wins war, or so he says. Reinforcements have arrived. What took them so long? Outpost XX11 updates. Ah, oh, ha! The big breasted lady. How Skid gets his extra altitude. The best way to a man's heart is through his ribcage. And for C400 sneak peek, killer combos, back breaking moves, zoom rate giveaway, free stuff for only two ninety nine. Homes and bunkers. The number one official guide to the Embrace system. Bank seizes Cork Estate auction begins. New sectors East Embrace Central Embrace. What's that say? Winnieville, I think. South X six B Blogtown Third Moon Umbra Station Cork District. Free, okay. Branch and Clank, the motion picture. Hot pots. Entertainment for robots. Oils and gears, the best lubrication for your sensitive parts. <laughs> Top 50 robot actors. Turbo Twins, Helga's workout plan. CPU overclocks, improves performance and satisfaction. Help go shows off her servos. Servos? Servos? Interview XVB8 models. Party at the Hotbot Mansion. Tools Express. Expand the life of your way. <laughs> oh, that's nice. brilliant. Right, let's go to nice. cheats. Tribicon Trails. I have no clue what that does. It doesn't seem to do anything. So I'm going to turn it off because it literally does nothing. Uh, at max, I have invincibility. Levels are mirrored. Enemies have massive domes. Actors have oversized graniums. Clank has a large noggin. And Ratch has a big head. So the level's reversed. I'm gonna go through Velden like this. I thought I'd make it fun for you. You know, it's a tad creepy and it's a bit confusing for me, but you know, just just a tad. I've already gone through here before, as you would have seen in the last part, because I, I I'm actually filming this before the the previous part because I need to get all the clips together before I can commentate over it. But uh, yeah, essentially. I've already done this level and in the last part obviously I showed fighting Drek with the Rhino what differences there are. This is really weird in mirror mode. I mean really weird. I'm not getting used to this. I cannot get used to this at all. Ah, why is this so confusing? It shouldn't be this confusing. So I have invincibility. Okay, now I do I have max health. Let's test that, shall we? Holy mother of god. I literally have invincibility. Interesting. So I'm gonna be I'm gonna be Drek with invincibility and a huge head. I wonder if Drek will have a huge head! Oh my god, yes! He might actually have a huge head. That would be pretty cool. Let that be a thing that happens, please. Uh, right, I need to put the thing on. Uh, no, no, it's, in, it's under gadgets. It's under gadgets. The fast, the the fuster, the fruster pack. Oh man, oh, what the? Okay, I I can't wait for this to be over. No offense to the game, but it's been hell collecting everything. Literally every everything everything everything. I wonder if the huge ships have big heads. It's rather unlikely. Um, maybe the tank might have. I don't know. Again, it's oh no. Okay. 
That was interesting. Oh, really? The door shut every time? Okay, I didn't know that. Maybe that's a glitch in mirror mode because I could have sworn it was, um, it wasn't closed each time, but oh well, it's not really a glitch. Well, there's a glitch if it doesn't normally happen, but you know what I mean. This game is really weird in mirror. I, I know I said I wouldn't play this again because, dear lord, it's been hell doing this. Oh, fucking cry. Okay, this is why I fucking hate this. I hate the Fluster Pack. They fucking passion. And I'm changing it right now. Right, no more freaking Fluster Pack. Because you just, you fall down way too fast. You don't have any time to react to things. I don't like the Fluster Pack at all. I mean, it's good for something, sure, but it's virtually useless otherwise. See, falling down slowly gives me a time to know where I'm going. Especially in mirror mode, which I have never done before. Because I didn't actually know about the cheats until... Uh, until looking up where the skill points were. I was just like, oh, what's this? Cheats? There are actually cheats in this game? Um, and then uh, I, I was just like, okay, how do I get these? And I looked it up and I was like, oh, okay. And now... I am confused as to where I'm going. Uh, okay, have I always gone this way? I swear I haven't, but okay. I trust you, game. Because I'm in mirror mode, I don't feel safe on where I'm walking. This is really weird. I mean, this feels really weird. I just don't feel safe wherever I walk. It's really creepy. I don't like it. Wait a minute, how can I be getting an attack? Oh yeah, it's not full invincibility, is it? It's only... Like... Oh yeah, so I died, that'd be why. So like, temporary invincibility. Yeah, it's temporary invincibility, that's right, I remember now. Yeah, so essentially I'm going to show you how quickly Drek goes down with the Rhino. This game is so weird in reverse. I don't like it. Doing this in mirror mode. I've played Jack and Daxter in mirror mode, but not this. Right, I see how it works. If I have max health, if I collect another bit of health, it gives me... Right, I see how it works now. So I won't have invincibility to fill a final boss, so I can't be absolutely reckless. I can't be a motherfucking boss. Where am I going? I have no idea. Is it this way? I think it is, yes. The question is, will, will Drek have a huge head? That is the question. Oh, I'm gonna do this in reverse! Shit! I can't tell if he has a huge head. I don't think he does. I, I can't help but notice I'm free. doing this in reverse. Oh my god, he has a huge head. Fuck me. Oh my lord. <laughs> oh yeah, I showed off some of these, didn't I? So I'm, I'm going to finish this game with max ammo with the exception of the rhino. Actually, you know what? I can finish it with max ammo. I'm going to finish this game with max ammo. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah, I'm going to finish this game with max ammo. Settled. Yeah, okay. Jesus Christ, it's gonna confuse the fuck out of me. I'm pretty sure you can buy Rhino ammo on the PDA. If I can, then uh, so be it. Don't care how ridiculously expensive it is, I'm going to spend as much freaking money as it costs to buy all the Rhino ammo on the PDA. Drag has a huge head! Drag has a huge head! Yeah, how quickly does this demolish things? Quite quickly. There's a rocket still going after him. Whoa! How confusing is this going to be to me? So far it's not overly confusing. It looks actually no different. No, it does look different. I've just realised it's the second one which looks like it's this route. It Seriously, it may not look like much, but once you've played a game five times in a row, pretty much, five, yeah, four times in a row, 
to yeah four was it four? I don't know anymore yeah four times why don't you play the game four times in a row this is such a confusing thing because you're used to everything being in a specific order because you looked at it constantly over the last one and a half weeks and it's throwing me off it really is it's very confusing I don't know where I should jump anymore because I don't know if it's safe because it's not what I'm used to even though it is even though it's no different from any other time I've done it with the exception of it being mirrored obviously but you know what I mean like in concept it's not different oh my lord that was close ah. <laughs> this is terrifying at least when I get to this point it will be easy yes so it has come <laughs> to this once I step on this ignition switch, a countdown will commence. The end which <laughs> the destruction of your pitiful world. There must be another way to make a home for your people. You think that's what this is about? Who do you think polluted our last world? I did. This is about one thing and one thing only. Cash and lots of it. You see, I've been paid for every square inch of my new I don't know why I love that sort of the cash chiching noise pops out. I love that. Well. It's great. And the whole thing starts all, all over, over again. Why <laughs> you you Great. So good. Oh my god, I get to see Captain Quark, I've just realized. Save it, Clank. We have to stop that timer. I've just noticed. Do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do something great. I'm gonna do something absolutely stunning. I'm gonna kick his ass without hitting that button. Let's do it. Let's see if I can do it. Come on, kill it. Not gonna hit that button. Stop going for the rockets. Get him. No, 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 no. No, it's not going after you. All you. It's all you. It's all you, Drax. It's all you. Okay. I don't trust my luck with this one. Yeah, okay, I wouldn't have done it. But I can get you this way. Okay, I can finish you before this time, I sure do. Yeah, I can. I win. His head's so big. <laughs> What's up? You know, this time I am thinking what you're thinking. Oh, is there any more health? Is there no more health? Does that mean I can't finish it on full health? There's one more health. Hell yes. One more victory fire into the sky. Celebrations are on my way, but you know what else is on my way? The PDA, which I have, and I will use it to buy me some Rhino, which isn't nearly as much as I was expecting, if I'm being honest. But you know what? Full ammo for everything. The only thing I think I'm missing is the thing, like some of the extra stuff you can get for replaying the game, but I got that within the Let's Play, obviously. So, you know, complete. Really funny if the laser had big med, ho big med mode. Big head mode! Phew, that was close. Uh, Clank, you can <laughs> pull us up now. The servos in my arm appear to be broken. Broken? As in, fall to our deaths broken? Uh, yes. <laughs> that was close. Thanks. My arm appears to be badly damaged. Ah, you'll be all right.
Hey, tin can! <laughs> Where do you think you're going? We, uh, still need to fix that arm. I finished the game! I actually finished the game! I never have to play it again! <laughs> Part of me wants to, but I don't have to play it again! That is incredibly satisfying, like you wouldn't believe. I don't know what to say, I really don't. Apart from... Don't go for the million bolt trophy, it's not worth it. <laughs> it's fact, it's just not worth it. You'll want to die, it's... no. Just no. It, it isn't worth it. So I'm looking forward to seeing what Quark with a huge head looks like. Do you know what would have been funny if the um, enemies in the images here had big heads? That'd be great. I'll say I'm looking forward to doing Ratchet and Clank 2. Though I may take, although I really want to record that, I might take a break. I'm not sure because I'll have loads stockpiled, which isn't actually a bad thing. In fairness. Oh god, those big metal balls, ah, that would suck. I must say Metropolis from this view looks stunning. Oh, the spiky balls, ugh. I, I think we've seen enough. Do you have a problem with No, hair? it's not a big head. In your nether regions causing you undue embarrassment. Do you just plain stink? Then you need this. The Gadgetron Personal Hygienator. Hi, I'm Steve McQuark. And this little baby can take care of any grooming needs that are just too much trouble for you to handle yourself. Allow me to demonstrate. Ah, yeah. <laughs> oh, mommy. Turn it off! Turn it off! Yes! Yes, 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 it's complete. And she doesn't say anything. So sad. But it's complete! Whew. See ya.